Good afternoon, YouTube. How's everybody doing this fine afternoon? I hope everybody is well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm about to deliver my uh, load that's going back home, and I'm going to be home for the weekend. I'm pretty excited about that. It's a much-needed break, I tell you what. But I'm, I'm just driving down I-95 thinking about a subject I wanted to talk about with you guys is developing meaningful relationships uh, in your business. And what I mean by that specifically is having direct customers. Uh, now, if you're an owner-operator like I am on my own authority, um, that's especially important in, in the economy that we're in. I mean, in 2022, whenever you're watching this video, I think this, this really justifies any, at any time, uh, having a business in the trucking industry is developing meaningful relationships directly with shippers and receivers. And you might be asking, well, how do you do that? Well, I'll tell you one simple story. Uh, I've learned from getting some of my direct customers is, put it this way, you're on the load boards and you start to develop a sort of a picture in your head of what kind of a person a broker really is. And let's be honest, let's not sugarcoat it. They're glorified salesmen, all right? Um, they'll tell you anything to get you on a load. And then when you're actually on it, it it's not exactly what you are told it is. Or uh, some, of the, some of the facts and stipulations on a load are not what they said they were. Um, and it's, it's, it's hard to develop, you know, a trust to these guys. And believe it or not, a lot of shippers and receivers feel exactly the same way. There's a lot of stories that they've been told things, you know, from here to the moon about, oh, yeah, we can cover this load for that much or we can get it there. We've got a reliable person. And, you know, then you hear stories. Uh, I've heard some from some of my direct customers that they spoke to a broker and they said, yeah, yeah, we've, we've got a truck for you. And then it turns out they never did. They just kind of lied to them and nobody showed up to pick up their load. You know, stories like that, it's, it's, it's heartening, disheartening, excuse me. And believe it or not, a lot of shippers and receivers, like I said, are sick and tired of that too. And they just want somebody reliable to run their lane or run their, their loads uh, to them, their product. And it's much easier to get a direct customer than you think it is. You know, all you got to do is really open up yourself to these people. You know, don't be afraid to walk into an office. Hey, you know, you deliver your load somewhere. It's a small mom and pop business. And talk to the, to the owner or talk to the manager or somebody say, hey, you know, I'm a local company, you know, trucking company. I'm starting up or I'm growing and all that. And, you know, I'll be interested in running a load. How often do you run these loads? And, you know, start up a conversation. You know, they're people. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They're going to tell you, no, well, we got somebody or we'll keep you in mind. And in times like that, what's a good thing to have, what I have in one of my cabinets is a box of uh, business cards. You know, have something in hand, give a phone number, give a business name. You know, it's it's more substantial when you have something in your hand you're looking at. And believe it or not, they do call you. Um, with that in mind, you also need to present yourself. I, you know, what I mean by that, present yourself positively in a mean, meaningful way to these people that you come see. It's dress up nice. Don't don't come in there with flip flops and all dirty and, you know, saggy, saggy clothes. And don't come in there smell like a sack of taters because that's going to scare them away. <laughs> um, so, you know, you gotta, you're got you selling your business. You're part of your business. You're representing your business. So you need to look presentable as well, as well as your vehicle that you drive. I mean, if you're, your truck is being held together by duct tape and a prayer, man, it, you got you got to fix that too. So that in mind, you know, it's it's one thing to talk. One thing to keep in mind, you can always go to a person and talk to them about it. You know, it's nothing hurts to do some marketing on the side when you got time to do it. And you know, another way to do it is remember, people remember your face. And well, let's say, I, what I mean by that is if you run a load, let's say to uh, a specific shipper or receiver in your general area, um, and you've been there several times before, or you run, maybe run this lane very often to the point where, hey, you you've, you, you, you see these people on, on, a, on a regular basis, and they remember you. And believe it or not, that becomes a relationship in itself. You begin you become more friendly with these people, and it's a relationship by sight. And it, you know, it comes to a point where eventually you can come to them and say, "Hey, well, you know, I'm such and such company. I'm I'm looking to expand, or I'm looking to grow as a company. Would you know anybody, any shipper or receiver that would require my services? You know, and that's sort of like saying, "Hey, you know, do you need me?" 
you know, I'm looking to work with somebody directly. And, you know, there's sometimes that they will take your information down and they either actually do know somebody who <laughs> would require a trucking company that's reliable they want to work directly with. Or there's, in, you know, some instances where they will call you, too, at some point and say, hey, you know, I've got this load. Are you able to do it for me? And, you know, and from there on, it, it all starts. So remember, guys, a lot of these businesses that you would go to, these shippers and receivers, there were small businesses at one point, too. And they can definitely feel, a, you know, feel your pain, your growing pains, because they've been there most likely at some point as well. And they're more willing to work with you, you know, when they realize that, hey, this is a local small business. They're trustworthy. They're reliable. They're on time every time. And they get the job done. They'll help you grow just as if they grown over the years. And so, you know, if you're looking into being one of those carriers that's expanding their business, maybe you want more trucks at some point, you want two, three, four, five, or how many, however many you want, you know, that's something that will help you grow, assuming that you you cultivate that relationship with them in a positive manner. And a caveat here, uh, a small caveat to running uh, loads for direct customers, you have to remember that you're gonna most likely negotiate a contract with them of some sort and in that contract there's going to be terms of repayment whether it could be COD if you're lucky it could be a net 7 net 15 or even at 30 or even longer so the question is are you financially stable enough to hold out that long without getting your money can you pay for refuel can you pay for all your business expenses your truck note if you have one um, you have to be financially prepared uh, for running direct customers you always need to be two steps ahead when this is that your 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 business plan or your business model to run directly for a customer. You know, when you run loads for off a load board, you have it made easy. I mean, I run with uh, a factoring company when I do my load board loads. And yeah, it's easy. It's much easier. You get your money the same day or, you know, most cases the next day. You don't exactly have that luxury when you're running direct customers. You may have a COD load if you're lucky. Some of mine are. But in most cases, there's a term of repayment or, you know, sometimes here's another thing. When I get a check from a new customer that I work for, the bank uh, I work with likes to hold on to that check for a couple of weeks before they actually uh, deposit into my account because they want to verify it, you know. So that's another thing to also remember. So that being said, you need to always be two steps ahead in having a financial uh, establishment. So... As an owner operator, remember, always look for ways to expand your horizons in your business. Always look for that new uh, new opportunity to grow. And don't be afraid to do so. Always make meaningful relationships in your business. And on that note, I'm going to keep you heading down this road. It's another beautiful day in Florida. <laughs> uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, everybody. I'm pretty tired. Think I'll go home now.